Disclaimer, this video is for educational purposes only. I am purely trying to capture the magic and experience of Blade Show, and I'm not encouraging any dangerous activities with this video. No minors are participating in this video or engaging in dangerous activity. Hello everybody, welcome back to the Buff. This is my first ever face cam video. Hope it's not too cringy. But anyway, I'm in Atlanta, Georgia at Blade Show East, and boy, I'm already having the time of my life. It's Thursday night, just got done with three hours of pre-Blade Show pit, waking up at 6 a.m., 5.30, getting the line at 6 for tomorrow. Sold the Kraken, got a Fellowship Blades Medusa trainer that I'll be trading in the morning. But uh, hope you enjoy the video. It's gonna be insane. Subscribe for the rest of it. On Friday, which is day one of the show, I came and waited in this big long line for about four hours with fellow Balance Song YouTuber, Rob Heath. We are now even better friends since we met in person. Blade show line right now. We got lots of people. Early bird line, very close to the front. We got a jumbo hat, well, two free hats, and uh, we're about to get some stuff. Yeah, I know. I know. Hi guys. Woo! All right, two red bands, sir. I go to that. Oh, okay. Two red bands. Do you have Bowie's tonight? Um, Tomorrow. Dang. Okay, I'll, I'll take the Tonto, I guess. Sure. Okay, we have. Uh, um, let's see. What, what color squid train did you got? I think black. Uh, and that's it. That's it? Yeah, I think. Let me ask Brandon. Okay. Um, you're gonna need a Mako V5 and Teal. Sounds gonna be down there. What else, bro? If it's possible, get number three. I need a Triton. Yeah, which one? Uh, what color? I think we have. It's gonna be down there. Silver and eight. And a. Um, do we have stone? I'll take silver. Silver? Um, stone. Oh, yeah, we have this hitter right here. Okay. Oh. Okay, you're at four. Okay. 
uh, XL. That's what I thought I saw. Oh, yeah. They can take care of it. Oh, I see. Yeah, okay, yeah. Um, so you got Scooby A's, right? Yeah. Okay, I'll be back for tomorrow. Uh, I got a question though. Is that is this the last drop of Scooby A's? No, we just don't release them as often. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, there's one more thing. Uh, no, that's, 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 right that's it, that's it. Okay. Uh, Not Jacob. This is my new best friend Pyro. Not that Pyro. This Pyro. You'll see him many times throughout this video, but I never once reference him because I don't actually meet him until the end of day two. Well, yeah, that's what's in here. I finished it. I just gotta get the, the jumbo squiddy and like an OG squiddy later. I think they only sold one. Maybe two. You sold any yet? Uh, I, one person bought one. Okay. Not two. Are they serialized? Dude, yeah, I went over there to go. I did too. I was like, yeah, I'm a big squeeze. They're like, over here. Uh, remember you guys? Just the packaging is also just double yeah, the size of the box. Is there a number on that? Yeah. Oh, four. Yeah. I was checking it was like one, one, two, three, seven. We're selling that. We're already taking it. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I'll take both. Who the f two? Somebody should buy all of them. I think they have more than this though. No, but they two's gone, so I don't even know if I'm gonna buy one. I probably would have ran here first. If I could have gotten number one. I'm gonna pay with the card for a Squiddy XL and keep my cash for other things. <laughs> Okay, yeah. Hey, uh, no, that's great, right? That's 
So does anybody, uh, does anybody have cash? No. I have some. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna cash up some way 200 bucks. Sell out already? Yeah, they're gone. Yeah, they, I think they can. I think they, somebody said they only had like 10. No, Is they that had, the tie cracker? Yeah, I got can one I too. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, yeah, I'm just kind of upset. It was... They got more tomorrow. Yeah, yeah but it's Lee Hawk and I didn't want them to Oh, hey, if, so, if, it's if, all if good. you come tomorrow and get a Bowie, I'll trade you. I want a Bowie one, but I wanted See, to get one. No, I didn't want to line up. You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't want to do a whole nother early day. Yeah, these are nice. Tomorrow's like one of the few days where it's gonna be like. Nah, he got. I was just looking at his. This actually is Jacob. Jacob is an amazing flipper, and he is one of the first three people to meet me at Blade Show on Thursday night. This trio will be revealed throughout this video and will be referred to as the Three Amigos. Let's go. Yeah. I got the rest of my stuff. Nico B5. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
me flip it. Wait, I gotta try it. Wait, can I try this? Yeah, yeah, that, that, that juggernaut is in front of. It's super heavy. Should be a plus. Oh yeah.
as you can see, I'm heading to the doors because I had to record a video. I recorded this video unboxing all of my Squid Industries products before general admission even got into the doors. Hello everybody, welcome back to The Buffness Flips. I'm not The Buffness Flips. That is correct, that's not me. That is the Battle Song Bear. Me and him recorded videos for each other's channels, but instead of posting mine as a normal video, I decided it would be fun to put it in the vlog. Keep in mind that this vlog is in timeline order, so this was filmed pretty much directly after my Squid Industries unboxing. So here is 14 minutes of the Battle Song Bear yapping about my collection. I am the Balasong Bear. I am over 18 and consent to this message. Um, I, I'm at Blade Show with the buffness. I'm over here out of frame. Hi. He's, he's over there out of frame. And we are filming a little collaboration video where we're going to mess with each other's collections. So on my channel, he's going to mess with my collection. On his channel, I'm going to mess with his. The first thing I want to mess with is something he bought this morning that I have not touched because I've been waiting to flip it uh, with, with you guys. I, I, that right there is the production valley chunk, pretty much. The, the production valley chunk is a good way of putting it. Yeah. It's, uh, as far as we know, he took the valley chunk to Blade West and then uh, Blade Texas was when they introduced this a couple months later. It's a little suspicious if you ask me. I almost did a, almost did a short stop. That's awesome. I like this thing. It's better, it's way easier to flip than the, the Nautilus or Megalodon, the Juggernaut. It's actually light enough to do stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I need both hands to fan the Megalodon. Alright, so I have never flipped uh, a, a couple of things he's got here that I just really, really want to mess with. The, the main ones are the Tsunami, I want to flip his freaky, uh, awesome Nautilus, which is potentially the best Nautilus on the planet. I, I miss my Prisma so much. I want another Prisma so badly. I sold my Prisma the day before they were discontinued. I sold my Prisma and my Prisma Pro the day before they were discontinued. But I got another Prisma Pro. Oh, okay. Traded a, a Turbid for it. How's your time at Blade Show been, my man? Oh, it's been fantastic, my man. Mako V5. Mako V5. What is this? Oh, Squid Trainer. I've, I've flipped the Squid Trainer V4, but... Or, I, I have a 3.5. And I flipped a V4 for the first time yesterday. Um, but with with a bunch of zippy stuff on it, I I like this. I, I love a squid trainer. It's heavier than I thought it would be. Yeah, they are solid, sure. and they're short, which can yeah, make it a little weird. It's gonna take a lot of getting used to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But glad I got one. And the hydro. I've not. This is the first time I've ever touched a hydro. My old my old Madco. That's nice to see again. I'm put it straight back away. I'm not even going to touch it. A brand new Triton. So yeah, I, I'm hoping that my video on the squid products and talking about the Triton so much has uh, made you want one. Or maybe you just wanted your own collection. Yeah, but, I'm very excited to try the Triton. It's, uh, it's been hyped up by a lot of people. Have you not even like flipped it yet? I flipped one very, very slightly at Blade West, just for like two seconds, and was like, no, it's not better than the Squiddy Owl, but uh, it might have I, changed. I like it better, yeah, I like it better. I think the uh, the grip on it, just the uniform on all sides, the exact same pattern, I, I love it. it. It feels so interesting to me. Um, Alright, so what are we going to start with? What do you think? Um... You're not very helpful right now. What do you want to flip the most? I'm, I want to flip the hydro. I've never right, flipped the, flip hydro. the hydro. That's what I'm going to start with. It's, it's lighter than I thought it'd be. It is. And it's got the ultimate ultim spacer. Yeah, the hydro is a little bit short, a little bit wonky. It's oiled. How sharp is this? Very, very not sharp at all, really. Very, very not sharp. <laughs> Yeah, it's it, oh. the unsharpened one that I tried to sharpen but epically failed. It's got no tip because someone dropped it on concrete and, uh, yeah. Someone. Someone. Custom handle by me. Oh, this is your, your handle? 
It's that's, fading a little bit on one hand. No, dude, that's sick. But, I did not I did not look at this and think this was uh, the buff Nisano. Yeah. That's how lowly I think of you. You can um, see the difference between the two handles and the color. Yeah. That's because like the hand oil affects the safe handle more, because that's the one I flip the most. Huh. So I'm going to swap the handles so it evens out. That's super cool, though. It's still gorgeous. It's got a cool effect when you rub off some of the... Anna. Yeah, it looks very almost what's the word? High, 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 high. See, holographic. It yeah. looks almost holographic. High nothing. This is why I run my videos off of a script. So I'm not very good unscripted. If I if I don't have at least powerpoints to go off of, I'm uh, I'll just I'll just sit there. And, but I need to stop. I need to move on before I start rambling. All right. So next. Well, I mean, people are going to be most excited to see the Thai Kraken. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to not flip it until later. Okay. All right, Nami. <laughs> I just did a retention hack. I learned about that from uh, Film Studio on YouTube. Film Booth? Film Booth. Film yeah. Booth. Hey, I sent you Film Booth videos, didn't exactly, I? Exactly, yeah. Yeah, That's Film Booth is a great channel. Yeah, good tutorials, good helpful tips. We just definitely made that guy's career by shouting him out. Yep, he was totally going to see this and be like, oh my goodness. We're going to increase his sub count by tenfold. Ten percent? Ten, 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 ten times? Yeah. What yeah. thousand percent? I like the live wave dummy a lot more than the trainer. Yeah. I had a trainer. It's just not it for me. Mm -hmm. The Nami is my favorite valley of all time. Might lose though to the Thai Kraken. I am loving it a lot right now. I've been getting, I've been working on a, a trick. I've been doing uh, that, which is like a bite handle crack, uh, bite handle chaplain. Oh. But it's not actually a bite handle chaplain. I'm going. Uh, oh, that, that didn't work. I'm just going. Oh, I but see. I roll it around the finger without touching the blade. Yeah. And uh, playing with fire there. Yeah, I did it on uh, a very sharp balisong recently, and I did I'm, I'm slightly off, slightly messed up a little bit. But I do like the the Nami like that. I I for me zippy inserts just don't work in handles. I love the gaps in handles. Yeah. And man, this thing, this thing looks like. It looks like a Zolo yeah, Nautilus. That's funny how much this thing has changed. Yeah, it went from a, just a standard white and black knot, sent it to Squid three times, and then decided to fix it myself. And I saw you had it at the booth today as well. Yeah. Oh. I think they made it worse. They said I didn't have small enough bushings. So I got a free hand to it. That's pretty sweet though. I'm, I mean, I'm not a huge fan of the Nautilus, but I like these scales better than uh, the regular scales for sure. Yeah. All right. Say hello to the old Cygnus. You definitely did an improvement upon it. It looks gorgeous. Oh, I improved upon it, but uh, the tune has completely exploded. It's gone. I'm getting some. New I thought that was a trainer blade. It's not. But it's I I just gold. did my light handle chaplet with no regard for safety whatsoever. That didn't feel good. Damn. I do like the Cygnus. I don't think I'll ever get another one. I might, but... That's pretty sweet. I think they got discontinued that now. They did, yeah. They got So now we're to the Thai Kraken and the Mako V5. Now, full disclosure, I, uh, out of pure, I, I guess I didn't realize you had one. I didn't touch it at the, uh, when, when we were talking earlier, oh. when I was looking at your stuff. Yeah. And then I walked into the booth and I saw that it was sitting there and I was like, hey, let me hold that. Let me flip that. And I picked up and flipped it. But I think this thing is fantastic. Yeah. I gave it to someone and they thought it was a mad cow. Wow. They were flipping it and they were like, whoa, this yeah, is it's, so good. It's good. I'm glad I didn't buy a V4 or a V4.5 when they had them. Yeah, I have a gunmetal um, inked 4.5, and I would trade out that for a, a, four, a 5 any day. This yeah. is a huge improvement. Yeah. The, the bead blast, for one, I feel is much better. Okay. 
I their old bee bath is so slippery. But also, you have the little grooves there, so much more grip on it. Yeah, very similar to a Madco. Yeah. Um, I don't think the blade ever got hardened, but uh, you know what? Whatever. That's take that. What we can get. Huh? We'll take what we can get. We'll take what we can get when we can get it. What are you What are you expecting here? I assume it's not bushings. No, not bushings. And the jimping. The jimping looks weird. It looks like uh, shark fins. Yeah, it's like a water, weird. like waves. Yeah, very weird. It's very, yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. And the tie kraken. Not just any tie kraken. The first ever Bowie tie kraken. Confirmed by everybody. Because they don't exist and what they're dropping friend. them tomorrow. Huh? They're dropping them tomorrow. They're dropping the Bowie Krakens tomorrow? Yeah. Oh, that's hilarious. So there are like no Bowie. Bowie tie Krakens. He goes over to a guy with a Bowie Kraken. He's like, hey, you want a brand new Tonto blade for your uh, Bowie blade? And the dude's like, uh, yeah. And he trades them. Bowie tie Kraken. Yep. Their tie Krakens are non serialized, but this is tie Kraken 001 that I just dropped on that tile. Yeah, pretty much. Like, I was the first to squid booth, so... Literally the first in line at squid booth, which I'm sure you, you have that video, oh, so... Yeah. yeah, that video's gonna be epic. Yeah, 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 yeah. I need to watch that. I, I think... Is it posted now? No. No? no it's still, that's, it's that's still posted. Oh, it's for the... Yeah, the oh, unboxing it's gonna wait. is what's what I'm Okay, the unboxing. The unboxing got posted. Tie Kraken is pretty cool. I was thinking about getting one, but I think I'm gonna wait for the Tie Koenig. Maybe I'll grab a Ty Kraken and just trade it for a Ty Koenig because I'm sure somebody's gonna get a Ty Koenig and be down to trade. But I don't have a ton of money. Uh, I'm not. I'm not here to buy stuff. I'm here to hang out with people. And um, but if I if I sell some of my stuff, uh, then we'll see. I can't get over how good that thing is. It's it amazing. Yeah. I'm gonna put it. It's super cool. And normally when something's like that smooth, it doesn't have like a sound like that. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's so deep, like a deep. Yeah, device. and look at the look at the weight system. Yeah, the weight system is so cool. Individual pins. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten individual pins in there. It's like the most customizable thing ever. Yeah. Uh, other than the maybe the gaboon, which has yeah. like Oh, I need to try gaboon. 30 pins, but the Gaboon is also just not it for me. For me. I I tried it, didn't like I tried the in bar, didn't like it at all. Just I immediately got rid of it. And with that drop, I think that's all I have to say. Wait, Sir, did, you, did you flip the Prisma Pro bevel? Bevel? Oh yeah. Bevel. Pick, pick it up. What do you mean bevel? Is it this one? Oh yeah. Look at the blade. Custom blade. Huh. It's just weird. Bevel aesthetics. Yeah. <laughs> you pick guy. a blade from the the person with the worst reputation of the entire community. I got it like third hand. But it but it sounds dope. Yeah. Sounds cool. Flips interesting. Very unique. But yeah, I like good. it. That's actually that actually is really cool. I like that balance. Oh. We're good. Where'd it go? What happened? That's awesome. I actually really like that. With the speed channels, it fits perfectly. Yeah. Anyways, guys, I am the Battle Song Bear coming to you live from the late show, not live at all. At all. Um, my brain stopped working there. I'm gonna. That'd be cool. I'm gonna say see you on the flip side because it's the thing I say. I well, I introduced it in the way that he says. Press the button. Get me out of here. Get me out. Had a great day so far. As you saw, I got all my squid stuff I was looking for. And I even made a Bowie Tie Kraken, the first one, because they're dropping tomorrow. But I got them early because I traded blades with the guy. But anyway, we're in the pit right now. Look at all these flippers. While editing this, I saw Denden just laying in the middle of the floor. And I thought it was so funny, I had to point it out. It's insane. We got lots and lots of flippers. Lots and lots of flippers. They're everywhere. We got Will Hurst just casually sitting there, that guy waving. We got Ethan. Ty over there just chilling. Ricky, love Ricky. We got all these guys. 
crazy. This is nuts. I've never seen this many recognizable flippers before. I know like half the people here, but we got these guys back here. What are your ass? What's that? Uh, I'll find you. At Valley Ops. Okay, and you know me. Blade Show Day 2, Bally Comps in a few hours. I plan on recording a lot more, and uh, I don't have to wait in line. So uh, let's get going. Okay, we're at, we're at the show. Hopefully you can hear me. But look at all these people. This is the small room. We got Arctic Flips over there in the purple. He's a super cool guy. Now, I can't just overlook my greatest encounter with anybody at Blade Show. This is Arctic Flips. He had me autograph his Squiddy, and he was such an awesome dude. We didn't get to talk as much as I would have hoped. But for the time we did, he was amazing, and this just made my day. We got food off right there. We got all these guys. Hello. Oh, look at this stuff. This is awesome. Kimchi. We just got to the Bally Comp area for pre-registration, and uh, we're gonna get going. Okay, we're gonna go around. We're gonna go around and see everybody's Bally Comp combos. Okay, you're not in the comp, right? Okay, what would your competition? Combo B, show me. I don't know, some freestyle, bro. Yeah, some freestyle, not bad. <laughs> Significantly better than me. Okay, let's see yours. Not bad. Okay, we got we got a group over here. Any of you want to show me your Bally Comp combo? What would, what you would do if you were in the competition, or if you are, what you're doing? I like it. I like it. Well, I got, I got cut earlier, so. Oh. By the way, we got Denden Den over here. What's up, Denden? Den. We got Rob. <laughs> we got a whole bunch of flippers over here, including Seiji, Oximity. Anybody want to show me your Bally Comp combo? I'll take it. Seiji, show, show me something crazy. Let's see it. Oh yeah. I can smell that red I think that was a slob. That's the smoothest slipping I've seen no, no, all day. No, no, no. That's crazy. That. No, no, I'm keeping that. I'm keeping that. Okay, we got a bunch of people over here. No, we don't. Show, show me a combo. Anything. Right there. Uh, oh, our mead, right? Yeah. What's up? Yes, I watched you last year. This is the previous winner right here of Valley Comp. That's crazy. He's really watched if you can tell. Dude, I won in 2017. I get no clout. Now you won 2020. Yeah, exactly. That's awesome. So many flippers. This comp's gonna be crazy. Hey, we got Keone right here, sponsored by Squid. Show me something. He is, of course, in the competition, because why would he not be? This guy's crazy. I like it. Okay, pretend like you're angry, and then throw it. <gasps> This is Udov, the second member of the Three Amigos. He was an absolute blast to hang out with, and he is in this video quite a bit more going forward. Uh, am I, uh, okay, we got Udov here, we got me. 
Bird's gonna walk through the show and head over and get some stuff laser engraved. Uh, Rotec. <laughs> this bench made over there, somewhere. Yeah, there's bench made. Big booth. There's so many booths. It's a lot quieter in here than the other room because it's not as small, and there's not a bunch of yelling flippers. Yeah, that too. No battle song sounds in here. Except this. Yep. I haven't even been in this room yet, and it's like the end of day two. There's a food court in here? There's no way. I don't know how I missed all this. So the small room that I'll show you a video of later is about the same size as the entirety of Blade Show West, which is just insane. We got guns there. HK, that's cool. Heckler and Koch. And apparently they make knives too. That's sweet. And this is the laser engraving place. Dude. laser engraving is Okay, we just got our stuff lasered. We got the buffness on there. It's backwards, but I'll mirror it. And then we got 1080, because his last name is Tanady, or Tanati, something like that. Oh, hold on, it's upside down. There we go, and we'll flip it, so yeah. And then Reptilian Indian, because I'm Indian. Yeah, that's awesome. Blade show, I love it here. We got bench-made Necrons here. That way system is actually really smart and innovative, and it changed it uh, an insane amount. Like, this is, what one's the light one? This is the light one. So some of them weigh like a ton. This one is actually a good solid weight and it feels really good to flip. That was completely out of frame. Do one more draft in frame. Yeah, this is cool. I understand the hate for the Necron with it being overpriced and made of steel and stuff, but it does not flip bad. It flips pretty darn okay. Okay, we got right here the newest JK product, the Orca V3. I'm kidding. This is not JK as in Julian Klein. This is JK as in Johnny Knives. This thing is interesting. It's light, yeah. Does not have enough handle weight, I don't think. Not bad. This right here is arguably the weirdest Balazon blade design I've seen. It's a double-sided Squid Industries Kraken blade. Do a Chaplin! The Zenith. Don't do a Chaplin. Chaplins will hurt, to say the least. Give it to a kid. But I have a feeling this is going to be a legitimate product in the future because it says prototype. Uh, just like this next one. So this right here is the Protect Live Father. 2.0. You'd think that would say fly feather, but it says fly father. So I don't know if that's a typo or if that's literally what this is. But Squid said they are making a collaboration with Protech, which is a other company that made apparently the fly father V1. 
This is the weirdest squid thing I've ever seen. Even weirder than the Mako Star. It is the most handle bias thing ever. It can't fan. It, it's got fans up there with the, the UFO. But it's a V2 of something, so I guess the V1 wasn't very good either. But this is weird. A weird, weird decision for squid, but I don't hate it. Okay, so remember that uh, JK brand new Orca V3 I got, thing? I got it for free. Yeah, awesome. Udov got it for free. I don't even know what it's called, and I don't think he does either, but that is so weird. What the? We've got Joff over here casually hitting the coolest clip ever. It's going in the vlog. <laughs> we got Ty over here and Tay behind me. Hello. And Tucker. We're all about to be in a Will Hirsch video. Look at this. It's crazy. Will Hirsch right there. Oh, cool. This one's going in the vlog. Oh, here we go. Ready? Former Valley Comp champion, second place this year, flipping the Squiddy XL. But it was truly the buffness. He's doing great. Nailed it. Be careful. Get the anchor for free. Yeah. This is HW Balsong. He is the third member of the Three Amigos, and for some reason, he didn't make it into this video a whole lot, even though I hung out with him more than I did 99% of people at Blade Show. He is the dude who gave me my signature titanium unboxing spoon. Uh, Nicholas Wolfowski gave me Cool. <laughs> okay, we're going whenever. Ready? Yeah, let's go. Dude, that's some weird stuff. I don't know, I smell. That choke you did was crazy. <laughs> what is that? Okay, so Rob was doing an insane clip. He had a triple scissor, and then on the fourth scissor, don't lie to people. He, <laughs> he dropped it. it. Look at that right there. He, he left a mark forever. We can't find it on his knife. This last pillar by this door. If anybody comes here next year, come look at this pillar down here at the bottom, right over in this general area. Right there. Right, right there. there. Yep, on the top one. Right, right there, dude. And just so it's gonna be here forever. Knows, the Kraken is perfectly fine. There's not a mark on it yeah, anywhere. Yeah, that's that's crazy. Can't no, find it. No mark on the Kraken. Like, what like the heck? Nowhere. Oh, by the way, show us your logo on the Kraken. Oh, that yeah, is no crazy. Way. He got his, he's got a custom Kraken. Why oh, won't it focus, focus. There we go. Rob Heath logo on the Kraken. He's also got stuff on the inside of the channel. Blade Show 2024. I'm getting that on my Kraken. Thank you. Dude, that's crazy. I got Pyro, this guy, that guy. Are you recording without my permission? Maybe. In liberal. Dang it, I gotta bleep that out. There's Pyro. Liberal. liberal, yeah, liberal. liberal. Nice haircut, liberal. You get the nice liberal store. <laughs> <laughs> Wicked edge over here, fixing up the tie track. What kind of steel is this? Late show's coming to an end. We got Rob right here. We're about to ship off all of my stuff. Including it's gonna, one of mine. Yeah, including one of Rob's. I'm doing an anno job on a Superfly, but this is sad. I gotta be without this stuff for days. But anyway, this is Blade Show 2024. Hope you enjoyed. That's in the vlog.
I'm not here.